It took an eternity to reach the Pokemon Tower, but I eventually got there, taking a deep breath and heading toward the tombstone. I remembered which one. The image of Steven standing before it was burned into my mind after all. First, I tried inspecting it. Miki. Nothing happened. I opened the menu and selected Missing No from the bag. Steven, don't do it, said Professor Oak. In a world that cheated me, why should I play fair? Steven used it. Steven obtained what appeared to be a mesh of random characters. What in God's name did I obtain? I couldn't tell you because the game took away my control. Without my input, Steven began to leave the tower on his own, right to his own home, inside and up the stairs. At this point, there was no music. Steven moved step by step, stopping at his brother's bed, turning to face him. At first, I thought the game froze. He didn't do anything, simply stood there, and I couldn't move him. I did, however, find out I could open the pause menu. I was terrified to look, but I couldn't stop myself. I checked Pokemon, and there was one. A single sprite met me. It had zero HP. Its status was dead. Its name was the mash of characters earlier. I selected it and was greeted with four options. Status, it's her. Switch, never. Close, no, and strangle. I selected strangle, and the menu closed, showing Stephen in the room again. Goodbye.